I'm Xtrays, mod developer and, well, occasional game player, mostly modder at this point. I made Boneworks Chaos, as you can probably tell, and in this video I'll show you how to configure it. You're going to want to launch the game at least once. You don't have to launch it with your headset connected, but just long enough until it says that Chaos saved its preferences. You just want to find wherever your user data folder is. If you just want to play alone, you don't want to have the Discord bot running, you don't want people to be able to like vote on effects, you just want to play solely alone. All you gotta do, change random effect on no votes to true. Oop, hit control Z by accident. But yeah, just set it to true. Go about your business. You can also do this in bone menu. I've made it toggleable there. And then now every 30 seconds it will run another effect. And with these default um, options, you will be able to play the entire campaign. Because laggy effects, uh, gravity effects, so those are all disabled by default, unless you choose to change them for some extra spice. And if you've found some effects that you don't like, you can just add them here, like zero gravity, because yeah. Uh, maybe you don't like zero gravity. And uh, don't worry if you don't have this, you probably won't because this is only a debug thing for my test builds. However, if you want to use the Discord and Twitch bots, keep watching because I will show you how to set that up. If you're using the Twitch bot, you're just gonna put in your name here, like my channel name is Xtrays, so yeah, I'll just set that there. Oh. And you're also going to want to set re enable remote voting to true. So if you're using Discord or Twitch with Chaos, set enable remote voting to true. Yeah, this token is Discord or Twitch dependent. Uh, I cannot give this to you. I This must be your own. Don't show it to anybody. That's why I'm going to be changing the tokens after I finish recording this video. So for Discord, I'm yeah, I'm just following these. So go to new application, name it whatever you want. Uh, I'll name it Chaos Mod, Chaos Mod, Chaos Mod. And from here you can just ignore all these. Well, for now you can just ignore them. We'll need them later. For bots you will need to add bot. Yes, I'm sure, and yes, I really want to. And then for this token, you're going to want to copy it, and you're going to want to paste it in between these quotes. So it doesn't matter like if you try and take this, I'm just going to change it. And for the channel ID, you're going to want to have a Discord server that you can use. You must have the managed server permission. You don't really need to have anything beyond that, but just managed server because that's the permission that lets you add bots. And you're going to go to user settings, go to advanced, enable developer mode. So make sure that's enabled. And then you're going to take your channel over here, right click, click copy ID, and put that right in here between those quotes. Actually, you're going to need to add the uh, bot user. So you take this uh, template over here and then take your application ID, put it right there, move the, those angle brackets. Then you're going to add it to your server. Hit continue, authorize, yada yada yada. And then your bot's gonna be in the server and well ideally you should give the bot read messages permissions in here because that's all it needs. It's also gonna need send messages if you have send candidates in channel. Send candidates in channel is a Discord exclusive thing. You can't do that on Twitch because I didn't set that up for Twitch. Then as far as Twitch goes, you go to this website right here, twitchapps.com slash TMI, and then 
I'm going to click connect. Then it's instead of just giving you the token straight up, it's probably going to give you the do you want to connect this service to your Twitch account dialog. And then you take this, put in Melon Preferences, and then put your channel name. Then it's going to listen for people voting in your chat. And if you want to avoid spam, you can put a slow mode, of course. Um, or alternatively, this will ignore uh, repeat votes from the same user. So say someone types like one, 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 one. It's only going to count one of these. It's going to ignore all the rest of them. Or alternatively, say you... Or say someone's doing like one, 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 two, two. It's only going to count the first one. It's not going to count any of the any of the ones following or the twos afterwards. And for proportional voting, this means that if something gets 60% of the votes, that is going to have a 60% chance of running. It's not going to be majority takes all. Yeah, I think that's about it. You can also turn off the wrist UI. Uh, you're never shown the candidates unless you look on your screen. But yeah, you're never shown what effects can be ran. It's always the effect that is... Uh, it's all... It's always the currently running and previously running effects on your wrist. You can't see the things that people are voting on. However, if you want to customize chaos further than just disabling and enabling effects, go to chaosconfig.cfg. And here you'll see a bunch of like all the different effects and things you can change about them, like video textures, chance to swap um, a texture and also the limit on how many it will swap per run. And also the same thing for texture swap, except it doesn't have the limit because I didn't feel the need to add a limit during testing. Scrolling textures, you can change how fast it scrolls. Um, RGB lights, you can see how long it takes for it to cycle through colors. Um, clock times, oh yeah, this uh, bullet time bullets, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really something. Anyways, um, don't let him grab you. There is force multiplier. Oh, wait, no, there isn't force multiplier. Well, uh, by the time you'll see this video, there will be a full, uh, a force multiplier. Um, up and atomize. Um, this is like, um, the radius in which it'll like find things to affect. Um, how many, like the multiplier of how strong it is, and how many things it will affect per frame. And all of these you can also customize in Bone Menu. And yeah, I believe that's it.